Twitch crew, assemble. Monitors are down. Headphones are up. Did you knew I was serious, bro? I'm obsessed with this game. Dude, I'm worried about the green screen. <laughs> Maybe I need to come down. I need to have a guess, bro. I'm gonna go Germany. Oh, wait, flag. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh God, wait, mate, I'm playing this game which I'm obsessed with at the moment. GeoGuessr. Oh my God, wait, Croatia? I'm knocked out, bro, it's hungry. I suck. One more, one more, one more. Big chilling today. We can get back on that vibe we started cooking up last time. Netherlands? NL? Correct. Yeah. This game, you just get dropped on uh, Google Maps somewhere in the world and you have to figure out where you are. You can move around, you can look at road signs, you can, you know, and this is like a little battle royale. You're against all these other players. It starts out quite easy, but then it's, you know, when you're like top three, it's about who can get it first. It gets a bit stressful. Oof. This is a toughie. Okay, hold on. We're in the Northern, oh wait. I think that looks like Sri Lankan. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Squiggles. Google Maps race. I mean, I'm thinking Japan right now. Oh, no. I don't know. Oof. I don't know where we are. Where's the sun? The sun's in the north. Oh, we may maybe we can get a sign. <gasps> Korean. Let's go. Ooh, yes. <clears throat> trying to just get... I mean, it's kind of looking more like European. Oh, it's the end of this road. Guys, I don't... I'm going to try something really random. No, no. Okay, someone's tried Canada already. Oh, <laughs> Andorra. What a tiny little country. Damn. Good round, good round. Yo, guys, welcome to the stream. Joe Hurts back again. Twitch crew, yo. I thought I would open up another little old project here. I off my album though, it's not that old. I say old, but it's not. Cross My Mind featuring Sophie Faith. It's pretty much all there. There's a few things that you're gonna have to bear with because of updates and stuff. So there's a couple drum hits which are missing, unfortunately, but I think it's pretty minor. Like the drum sound's not gonna be exactly the same. I'll play it once in the form that it's in. You are the one to take me on a journey. Stop. I was on the Piccadilly line for an hour just to see your face. So try and compensate me with attention. Oh, my, my, how time, how time flies when I'm with you. When I'm with you. And not a day goes by when you don't cross my mind. I can't think about. Nothing else, nothing else but you, 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 yeah. Nothing else but you, 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 nothing else but you, 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 nothing else but you. So, I'm under no illusion, or do I expect you to stay? There's nothing more to be said I like differently a birds and the flowers Something in these chains mm, What can I say? I won't lie, these feelings I cast aside The 
Truth be told, it's like nothing I've ever felt I want nothing but you, you, yeah. Nothing else but you, you, you Nothing else but you, 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 you Nothing else but you You So, oof. yeah, that was it basically. That I mean, that's you know, I'd say that's the that's the song like ninety percent there. There's a few things just listening back that have messed up and you know that are missing that I've mixed differently in the in the actual version that's in the album, and I'm just noticing that my UAD is like maxed out. So I know some of the plugins aren't doing what they should be doing. I just wanted to like go through the various elements of the tune, which looks kind of chaos really. Well, when I come to mixing, I'm just moving all my drums to the top. So I've just got like a kit, you know, more of like the musical elements, the keys, the bass, extra bits, guitars, all of that sort of sits around here. And then vocals for me are usually at the bottom. And then other things after that, that feel like they need to be added for the finishing touch. So let's see what we got. So my entire hi-hat channel was missing. Definitely missing some of that pace. I was like, what is going on here? We're gonna roll without those hi-hats. Take up the snare. Yeah, I've just sort of gone with that groove. Like, I think I just came up with it, you know, with her in the studio, we got in and we just, again, like it was one of those sessions where it was a long overdue session. We've been meaning to work with each other for ages and I knew she was like just an incredible vocalist Sophie just a really vibesy person so I was just like right it's just got to be super simple little kit on the keyboards just some keys just like mm, mm, k, mm, mm, k, mm, k, mm, mm. that sort of like kind of vibe just little bits of percussion dancing around which develop obviously the subtle stuff it might have been stuff I recorded just on top of it and then chopped up yeah, usually I'll just send all of these drum sounds, all these little things I'm adding to one drum bus and then go with some sort of parallel compression or, you know, see what's right for the track. Or do I expect you? Insects and shit. And yeah, I think this is just off the like logic keys sound. But I just messed around with some RC20 and some EQ. I also use this plugin called Track Spacer. This thing, it's kind of like sidechain. You can route it to like your kick. It will only sidechain the frequency that your kick is. So rather than rather than like a normal compressor that would drop down the entire volume signal, you know, this plugin would just look at the frequencies that your kick is coming in at and take those out of you know, whatever you're putting it on. Like, so it could be a synth sound, it could be some keys, it could be something with like some low end so that the, just the low end gets out of the way for the kick. You know, the kick can just cut through. Great little plug in that, track spacer. Go and check that out. Would recommend this one. You. What, what have we got here? We've got lots of little cuts. I think I'm just trying to like come up with little counter melodies around the keys themselves. I might just take like 5% of what I've just done and you know sample it and move it around see if it works somewhere else that I wouldn't usually like go for I'm always worried about something being too plain or mundane but then 
just battling with myself trying not to like over busy an idea some producers will be like less is more and make sure every idea has its own space and stuff but i do think there is something in this in like textural stuff you know you're not really adding a new idea but it is it's affecting the experience you just kind of have to try all this stuff then take a bird's eye view and be like what is this actually adding to the track does this bring something does this make me happy just finding that balance really onto the bass So yeah, it's just, I'm using classic contact Rick and Backer bass. I love this thing. This thing does stand up. It's got its own sound. I quite like it. Nothing crazy. And that's just a bit of fun. This like weird reversed bending down to the note that is coming in. Just like that bass slide just sort of like it makes it go round, you know, just feels smooth. I mean it's what I love just sitting sitting with synths and just playing with stuff over the top of an idea. Just give yourself like a couple hours, play with it, do you know what I mean? And come up with just weird stuff. Stuff you're not expecting, you know. That was one of them like weird pad sounds that I was like bending with a pitch bender and like um and then messing around with the tremor later afterwards and just coming up with uh you know, strange sort of effects on top of this idea. I like coming across sounds that I'm just like, oh, what was that? Let me see if I can like just get that in like in the track somehow. It's not like I've gone in with an idea to have like a weird synth like background horn in the like reverb. Do you know what I mean? I'd... I think I heard like I heard that on the back of some ambient sample, and I was like, right, just pitch that down a bit. And what's you know. <laughs> Got some rogue guitar going on there. I think that was like just takes that have just popped up. I don't know. They weren't in the tune. That's the bulk of like what's going on in like the music. You, you, nothing else but you. Mm. Right, vocals. How you mix your kick and the bass? Um, what have we got going on here? Okay, yeah, I mean, I do it differently, so it depends, man. Like sometimes I, I want to like compress the kick and the bass together, like, but it's quite specific on the sound I'm going for. Like I think with this more like live feeling thing, I wanted like the bass to have one space and the kick to have its own space, you know. Like with house, like the kick wants to sit like below a lot of stuff. With this more like R and B sort of stuff, like the kick might want to sit like a bit above you know, the sub of the bass, basically. So I was making sure that there's nice, like, a hundred punch on the kick. I think I've been taking away some, like, between, like, three and four hundred. And that's mainly to make room for, like, the body of her vocal and, like, I think the keys and stuff. Looking at that, whoa, okay, hold on. Here we are, we're okay. Stream okay, we're all good, we're all good. Yeah, so then I've been looking at the actual bass track. What have I done here? I've just like sort of reduced some of those frequencies, like the kick, are trying, the, the kick's trying to come in at. So the bass is quite sitting underneath, quite subby, you know. And I've also got this max bass thing, which is it's adding like sort of a fake layer of like harmonics, which I've sort of added in with this level. It's a waves plugin. It's quite a subtle thing, but it's like the choice between the super low end or just like the medium low end and you can just sort of adjust the level of how that's coming in and it was just finding a balance like what felt good on the speakers I was listening to and then you know take it back into the car oh it's too bassy like just balance it out when I listened back to this mix it's not 100% finished this is like an 80-85% 80, mix it's missing some drum sounds the UAD plugins are all basically disabled because of the fact I'm using a UAD twin as opposed to my Apollo. So it's not it's not able to like fully run the project in, in its original state, unfortunately. Just to get like the composition idea and rough theory be be behind what I'm thinking of. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make space for everything. You know, everything's got to have its own little pocket. If it's just a stack of weird sort of extra synth sounds, they'll usually all be going to a bus and then being compressed or EQ'd in one way. So it's being treated like one element. It might look like, well, there's so much going on. But that's just, you know, it's all occupying kind of that mid to upper range of stuff, you know. You, yeah, nothing else but you, 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 nothing else but you, 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 nothing else.
else but you like she's got an amazing tone and like has performed that so well but i remember like the room i was in had a really noisy computer and just like a couple of us in the studio it was like smoked out equipment all over the place we got this take and then it was just sort of like me i had to clean it up i had to get it right I've done like a lot of like gain staging cutting it fading it you know making sure that there's no like clangs in the background of someone doing something the one to take you hear the room noise journey. But who's to say where it's gonna stop? I always take out just like big chunk of bass first. I want my tracks to have a lot of low end and that is just the kick and the bass's job. For a female vocal, I want them to sort of just sit above that. I've got some, I've got like some gating going on to try and get out some of that background noise. So when she's not saying anything, it just like takes that signal out. What's left is compressed. So there's not like so much dynamic sort of change going on so the vocal is just kind of consistent we've got auto tune doesn't need much but just a little tiny more eq a bit more like surgical stuff i think there's just like a node sort of in my room that was just booming through so i've been taking out i sort of push a frequency up and be like yeah that's not nice like let's take that down you know so just like sweep through it making it like really surgically small just going through your frequency thing as it plays and seeing what frequencies are like super resonant, you know? And if something suddenly jumps out at you, you're just like, right, that's got to come down like a little bit, you know, just balance it. And yeah, I've got a couple EQs like after compressors and stuff like that, but I don't have a problem with that. I feel like you get to a certain stage, you compress it, you're at a new stage. You can make more decisions. Some people choose to bounce it down so you don't have so many plugins, but you're committing to changing it. de she's got some powerful S's. Controls her S's. on the Piccadilly line for an hour. Who's to say where it's gonna stop? Oh my, my, how time, how time flies when I'm with you, when I'm with you. And not a day goes by where you don't cross my mind. I it's literally only for a few moments where it's just like too much. It only, you know, it's really subtle that. Tiny bit more EQing and then I've got this like manly Vox box. God, I've gone crazy with the EQs. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this, you know, this way, but like it just had to be done. It was just like, it was my only option with that, with that vocal take. Like I had to go in like surgical style and we had to rebuild. It's like final choices in the, in the mix. You know, I've just dipped some of the mid range of her vocal. She's quite like present, like, and yeah, it just makes it smoother. I think. Nothing else, nothing else but you. you. Yeah, I think I've, I, Sometimes I do like big sort of stacks for pre-choruses and stuff like that. But with Sophie, it was very much about like the one vocal and then just like little flourishes. But who's to say where it's gonna stop? It's a tiny little double there. I was on the Piccadilly line for an hour just to see your face. So what happens in the first one? Where it's gonna stop? Kind of sounds crazy, messy, but... Just to see your face. Attention. Oh my my, how time, how time flies. Just doubling the first half of that line and then leaving the second one, it just felt like that call and response sort of thing. And it was like one of those moments where the song is just like writing itself, you know? Setting her loose and a couple ad lib takes, like after we'd got that main vocal and the idea down. And then, you know, I shut myself away and it was just like, right, picking the best ones, the ones that just give the track a lift at that moment. Um, but not everywhere, do you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's easy just to go too much, but um, like less is more in that sense, you know? Real stripped back sections with just one vocal, have flourishes where like the small stack comes in. Some weird shit going on. I think there's some takes that aren't meant to be in here, but I've got some guitar, just little subtle stuff. Not so subtle. This is my guy Luke, who I've worked on on a couple tracks, like One Sided I wrote with Luke. Super talented guy, part of a group called Nubian Twist. It's in the sort of South London jazz sort of vibe, but incredible player, like always love just doing sessions with this guy. He's always like, yeah, I picked up sax last month. And then he's like, just a genius on it already. I'm just like, what's wrong with you, mate? Got some kind of DJ Khaled. <laughs> Guitar rig. I'm under no illusion or 
and yeah literally like he was like yeah i picked up the sax can i play it on the track and then i was like well let's have a go this doesn't have the compression on it guys i'm just going to say like i had this i had this sort of setting going on this crushed it in this sort of way that's giving it like the hip-hop feel but unfortunately my dsp is maxed out can't even play it sometimes get a feel my vocal is sitting on top of my track instead of glued in what kind of tech techniques would you use to blend it i think of it like a puzzle man like you know the, the track's there the vocal's here if the track's going to come in if the vocal's going to go in on top of the track you've got to look at what are the most prominent frequencies of the vocal right now you know so if it's like the mid-range like 1k 2k like look at what's going on in your track and like try and just reduce some of that so that there's a space for the vocal and that way i think when something plays you haven't got like keys and piano and guitar trying to fight for that same spot it's hard to make a d that decision when you when you've played those keys or that guitar because you want to push everything up you want everything to be present but something's got to give just that subtractive kind of way of thinking like if if, if this is going to be in here something's going to have to maybe come out or you've got your thing yeah just some effect <laughs> Guys, yeah, that was it. Sophie Faith, crossed my mind. Little breakdown. My man Soy sent through some little clips for our Twitch tune. I gotta open it, see what it's saying. Twitch vibes, let's go. Oh, oh yeah. It's meant to have the Hackintosh working today, chat. Like I was meant to be off this double laptop setup. Um, unfortunately, it's not been as smooth as I liked. But the, sm the stream is going a lot smoother. We got we got the new webcam. We're not having the same audio crashes. We are good. We are good. What have we got going on here? Passing chords at the end, man. Probably better than mine. <laughs> Craziness, bro. Crazy. These little. Little little shaker there. What's what we got? We got? Do, 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 do. A lot going on. I'm not sure what else it needs right now. It's more like getting what's there, like sounding good. Yeah, so I'm just sending them all to that compressor. I like that little ooh. We're just carrying on with the last last stream tune. Um, my man Soy sent in some sauces, you know. It's pretty slammed. But... That 
That's good shit, Dan. That's good shit. We're glad the uh, stream is looking smooth. We've had like countless problems for the last months. We're getting somewhere, finally. You could automate the, uh, the decay. Could be quite fun. <laughs> I like it, man. I like something funky. I think that's cool. Like, um, sort of talks with the track, carries it along. Mm, yeah, man. It's about just, just making it come back in impactful. I'm just experimenting with taking one of these sections out. I think it's like, yeah, you want it to drop, drop down, and just hit when it comes back. Got me thinking about better days. Better days, better days. There's two back on there, jeez. <laughs> With how she work. Let you go. Though I know it won't be easy. You think that I don't feel love, but what I feel for you is real love. I will build you a castle with a tower. <laughs> Bro. Bro, we can have fun with these Motown acapellas. We'll come back, we'll come back to them. What about some weird, weird, weirder things though? Just got so many rap. These are all a bit. What was that first one though? I don't know. Maybe. We could have a little alternate intro, I reckon. It, it just like needs to be some, it come from somewhere else before it gets to that bit. Sounds strange. And I like it. I like weird shit. Um, I've just had, oh my. I'm sorry chat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the ears, RIP, RIP ears. I don't know why, I like that. Bear with me while I'm a weirdo, I just need to try some shit. Might not work. out there but kind of like it it's a cool effect that that little texture thing it's it sort of happens and I don't you know I'm, I'm noticing it because I've just put it in but I think it's one of those things that would just become like a little subconscious put it together on a bus Sorry, I'm not labeling anything. This is all kind of chaos. Is that just distracting on the first drop? I kind of like it because of its weirdness, but it also might just be nice dropping, like, just dropping without it. For the first time. Let's do that, let's cut that section out. And that's when the guitar can finally come in, probably. Mm, nice little breakdown. Bully for a reverberated female exhale. <laughs> we need a little, we need a little breath. Man, I used to have some weird samples on my computer like that. I'll dig them up. Guys, ears, be careful. Be careful. I'm just I'm just previewing this. I'm just warning you, I'm just gonna preview this. It hopefully shouldn't break your ears. Ow, that would that would yeah. Just 
on the one. <laughs>